Hello. 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 Hello, and welcome back to my channel. So this week I will be showing another pointless video of me doing grocery shopping. Not really grocery shopping, but I went to Costco again, again. It's always every week that I go to Costco. And I went to Goodwill to shop around, look at some stuff. And it was really, really great. I was able to get like three items. It only cost me like about 11, 12 bucks. It's like a wine open, I don't know, a wine stopper. I have a... It's, it's on the video, you can just look, look it up. It's ba basically a a long kind of like a coat, like a top layer for me because it's getting cold now here. And lastly, I bought a skull. And I'm gonna show that one in the video as well and telling you how much each of the item is. And I went to Walmart, I got some stuff in there. I got like an envelope for my documents in my car. And then I went around the area because there was a trail close by that Walmart that's very close to me and yeah keep on watching and I'll show you where it is and why is it so significant to me is it on haha <laughs> hi everybody and welcome to my channel <laughs> kind of no it's my lunchbox yeah. hi everyone I am back I am going to Goodwill there is a Goodwill close by my place, and I am probably just browsing around. Halloween is closing. Oh well. Well, Halloween is happening soon in our neighborhood, so I want to see if there's something fun or some good stuff that I can put on, probably in my backyard or something I can wear for the trick or treat. It will be my first time uh, having like like doing a trick or treat, just because. Our place where I lived before didn't have that much kids, but this neighborhood that I'm in right now has tons of kids in there. And then there will be like a block party in there. It's gonna be like massive, so I'm kind of excited. So I really need to like dress up somehow. So I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure how bright I am in that previous angle, but I'll see how it is. So I am here at Goodwill. I will be browsing around uh, looking for some stuff. Probably seeing if there's something that I can put on my lawn in there for the decoration for Halloween or something that I can wear for the actual Halloween. There will be a lot of trick-or-treaters I've heard in our neighborhood because we just moved probably to start of this year. And I've never had like a very big uh, trick-or-treat or Halloween stuff happening in my neighborhood or even back when I was back in the Philippines. But I'll see. I'll see how it is. So this is a good will. So on Goodwill, they have also books. So you love books and they have a lot. I usually buy a lot. Ooh, they have the Duff in here. I love the movie, the Duff. And they have multiple ones. And they're actually very cheap. So most of the books in here are probably about $2. Let's see how much the Duff would be. So, so this is initially 16. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh. $16.99. And they're selling it for only if I can find the price. I cannot find the price. Did they have all the price list in here somewhere? They had secret language. Hats. And oh, this is for my friend. I think Ashley would love this. And my brother is a big fan of Jesse Jackson. Oh. Hmm. We have also different stuff in here from kids' game, from phone charger, from albums. 
Look at that paper. What is it paper? <gasps> they have a chest. Oh my gosh. This is also like a Philippine South chest. The reason why it's like only nine dollars. But this is actually from the Philippines, so it's being made. So I found this thing. I love to drink wine, and they have this Sabine wine preserver. I'm sorry for the music in them. I love the music though. And also, I found this. I'm getting ready for Halloween. Oh, I'm so happy. I also have this. So they have a lot of like glass layers, porcelain. Oh, I love to have those ones on top of my cabinet. It's all my colors. See green, and then they have red. Oh, nice. So they're known for. So it's super hot right now. I'm gonna blast the AC. So I got this. I actually bought three items from Goodwill. I got. Let me see. Okay. I'm just making sure that the camera is like not totally zoomed in. But I got. I bought this skull for $3.99. I think you can put batteries in it and might like light up at night. I haven't tried it yet. I bought this vacuum uh, Houdini. This is like a rabbit Houdini wine preserver. Um, you can, because I have a lot of wine at home, a lot of my friends buy me wine, but I seldom drink, and every time I drink, they open one. I don't drink the whole thing, and I feel like it's such a waste to just, you know, lose all the flavor in the wine, so I'm going to give this one a try. This is, I think, a retail for $11 in Target, like $10.99, and I just bought it for $2.99. And lastly, uh, the one that I showed you earlier that I was wearing, I got this for 6 $6.99 and um because it's like fall season right now and I love floor length um floor length coats or jackets or just to keep me warm because I'm very cold blooded of a person uh, I know I'm not so used to it like with the cold weather in here so I need a lot of layers for me to keep me warm and uh, that's about it so the next stop that we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Walmart I need to buy some file organizer for my registrations and my insurance for the car. I wanna kinda organize the place. And as you can see, my car is somehow clean-ish. I was able to clean up the car earlier. I spent like about 30 minutes vacuum the area, remove all the stuff, remove all the junk that I don't need in the car. And then after, no, 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 I think I have to go to Costco first. I'm sorry, I have to go to Costco first, get my gas, 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 and then hopefully, Oh, I'm gonna get some wiper like wiper blades because they were on sale on Costco and I'm gonna go to Walmart afterwards yeah I'm not so sure if I'm, I think I might go again to Costco but I'm gonna go to a um, Walmart afterwards and I'm, I'm I'll try if nobody will tell me to stop videotaping but I'll try videotaping later and crossing my fingers on that one but I'll try to like, remove a lot of people that is in the frame that I don't want to include just because I want to protect other people's privacy so I don't want them to get filmed without their consent so as much as possible I'll try to either blur them out or basically cut the whole scene instead but yeah see you in a bit okay <laughs> I am 
I'm at Costco. I'm actually filling up my gas over there and oh my gosh. The price for the gasoline increased again. I know last week when I refilled my tank, it's only about $3.99 per gallon, but now it's like 4 0.099 which is not as much but still though it's still there's an increase probably like a dollar more if you like it per I think for the whole tank like almost like a dollar or two so um, after this one I will be going to Costco I'll be buying those wiper blades that's on sale other than that one I am not usually video tampering when I'm driving just because I don't have a place or I don't have something to hold my camera when I'm driving I am also traveling by myself nobody is in here to help me videotape I know it's sad but really you know what it's it's a Saturday I really need to like go out do more stuff and oh oh I just heard oh honey like so my gas is done I'm paying $47.40 so that's like $47.40 that's a lot well I use it for like about a week or two, depending on how much clinical Thomas driving. So I usually do every week. I know I work three days and then go to school for about three as well. And that usually empties out all of my tank. But yeah, whatever. And we're back and I have a park for Costco. And as you can see in there, I park a bit more far there right now, but that's Costco. Sorry for my shaking hands. But yeah, I'm in Costco right now and follow me in my journey around different aisles in Costco. Mm -hmm. So this is how an aisle in Costco looks like. I cannot videotape other aisle in there just because there are a lot of people and I cannot edit it out. But yeah. Oop, it's too far out. You probably not be able to see them, but yeah. Um, I think probably I'm going to be the next aisle. Uh, I'll be able to get them. I need to. Ooh, damn. This is so good. Oh my hubby will probably love this one more. Hmm. It's magnetic. I just recently bought a shower head probably like two months ago. And this one, I'm actually a big fan of mine. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but yeah, whatever. Ooh. This is the one I'm actually trying to buy. Because we're having a party on December at my place. And I need to my backyard to be all lit up. So I might need to spend a little bit to buy a multiple one of this. Oh yeah. Oh yes, this is the one. This is the one that we bought like a month ago. See how big the difference are. Water pack is much more. I don't know. I love the dual pulse for this one. And it's cheaper than moon. But that one has to do a head though. And you can use both that one and that one together or separately. So, yeah, I'll decide on it. So, I want to remind myself that if this one's going to be on sale, I need to buy it. This is for a floor mat for my car, my old mat. Oh, and they have a control seat cushion. There's a lot of good stuff here in Costco, but they can be super pricey. And I love a lot of home stuff, or a bit more like you know, cars, elect like you know electronics and everything at home. So yeah, and I go out to Alvin have to go to Costco just because. It, you know, if I miss something from the brochure that they have, at least I would know which one's on sale. And I can keep like a, a mental list for myself when to come back or when the, the sale would end so I can get it before it, um, it ends. So, mm. Here it is! The one that I'm... This is the one I'm actually looking for. This is the Michelin. Uh, wiper blades and I usually buy this one once a year depending on how long my wiper blades last and usually like a year or two and oh, they're like three dollars let's see maybe I'm doing it so it's like a three dollar oh so I'm kind of glad about it so yeah that's how it is I'm super excited now I have to go to different places just because I want to walk around yes 
so I am getting this one. I usually buy a lot of Kirkland brand for just because it's just cheaper and it works well. I like the scent of it. And this is like clear and everything, but I use it earlier. This one actually turns out purple. I'm not so sure if it was me, but it was just purple earlier. Sometimes I get this OxyClean as well. But yeah, I'm sticking with Ultra Clean from Kirkland. And I need some fabric conditioner, and Kirkland also have a fabric conditioner. And I'm hoping they're on sale. Mm -hmm. Not really on sale. They're still on full price at $8.99. I'm not so sure if they usually go on sale, but yeah, whatever. Yeah, I've been buying a lot in Costco. I'm gonna be broke. So almost all of these ones are actually on sale except for I believe this one. Because this one's three dollars off, this is seven dollars off, this is three dollars off, and that's four dollars off, and this one's about four dollars, I believe so. So almost every time I buy at Costco, I usually buy things that are on sale. So I got a Nutella in here. This is on sale. I'll put the whole thing. I will put the stuff back of my car. Ooh, it fits. And the wiper blades. I'll change the wiper blades later just because I got no, if I know how to change it, and I bought some Dan and Greek yogurt light and fit, so that means it has lesser calories. I'm so sure if I'm trying to lose weight or whatever, but it's cheap. And as well. And lastly, this one, uh, not actually, for my laundry detergent. And I'm going to. I almost forgot about you. Stupid me. So now we're actually heading to Walmart. So I have arrived here at Walmart and I'm not so sure if you can see it from that side in there, but there is Walmart in there. And before that, I'm gonna show you around the area because there's a special place in here close by the Walmart shop that is very um, close to me because uh, I have like a fun memory in here and I'm gonna show you where it is. If you're questioning where we're going, we're actually going to a trail close by here at Walmart. And I don't know how to enter that thing actually. So we will find it. So, so oh, I know where it is. That's where the area is. Oh, I like this view. Because they don't have any ice cream in there that will melt. So we are at a trail. They're so funny because there's a trail close by the Walmart. And so I am looking for like a bridge, like a foot bridge, a wood bridge. I don't know what kind of bridge. But I want to do like a bit more of those kind of shoot. I don't know why I'm so freaking bright. Um, okay, I think it's better. So, I was uh, was tracking down the whole San Diego River and I was telling myself, probably I'll be able to see a bridge along one of those area in the San Diego River. And then I found this one, it's about give or take 20 minutes from San Diego. And that's where I live right now. And I found this wood bridge in here. So this, I'm not so sure if I'm able to uh, find that uh, picture, but I'll try looking uh, looking it up and then we had our picture taken over here I love a little more grass uh, grassland a bit more of nature type of photography I love the water I love the tall grass in there and I don't know it's just one of the things that I love the most and having somebody taking uh, to take a picture of in this setting actually makes me so happy and so this one was not very overgrown before, but it has right now. So this area in here was did not have anything. It was actually very bare. And that that area in there has a bit more of a uh, cement, I believe so. And then that's where I had like the picture taken. 
and so I was on that bottom area there and then my subject is here so and so it would show the part of the bridge and it was like uh, an okay picture oh you know what I actually did not buy my camera yet I have like the older Sony camera DSLR that I have so it didn't have that uh, that much uh, of a quality picture I wish I had a better camera before or a better lens it would have been a better picture I believe so but it was good I had a lot of fun and we were able to walk in this area in here but it felt like right now the water has come up and then now there's a lot more of those weeds that almost like it, it becomes more of a swampy area and this oh this one never changed so this is one of the tall grass in here and i have miss lily in here uh one of my oh no i think miss lily nasrin and um said we took a picture in here so i have my subject standing in here i was taking taking a picture from here and that would probably be like the background and i wish i could recreate the picture uh comment below uh comment below if you want me to do another photo shoot with it uh, with my friend and using my new uh, cameras, my new lenses and see if there's any difference or if I have improved a little bit more on my photography because I'm not really a professional. I'm almost like I'm just a hobbyist. I love taking pictures. I don't spend too much on my supplies. I don't, uh, I don't spend on my equipment as much. I, I just buy stuff that I can afford at the moment. I buy secondhand items from Amazon. I buy like a whole kit, like a, the sale camera on Costco. But even though like at Costco it became it was a bit more expensive, but I didn't know any better before. But now I've been like just buying through Offer Up, Craigslist, uh, Facebook Marketplace, and I'm saying a lot of us again, and I hate it. So hopefully, I can edit all the us during my post. Uh, Fuck, I have a lot. I should have not sworn. Yes, yeah, so I'm not so sure if I'm saying ah because I'm just tired or I'm out of breath or I'm just out of idea, but I have a lot of scholars in there and a lot of my friends told me I should stop saying ah in my video and I will do so. So if I listen to a lot of us in there, I will cut it. So yeah, this is the small area that I usually do the, a lot of uh, videos and photo shoots. And look at this one, it's very, it's kind of scary to be honest with you, but let's see. See, it's actually, it looks, it, it looks okay. See, from this side in here, it looks good. So like increasing the contrast a little bit more than the sharpness in here. You can probably have somebody that in there, almost like a fall photo shoot, but then it's so swampy, that's a problem. But we'll see. So I'm telling you, Comment down below if you want me to do a photo shoot in there with a behind the scenes video that I will post on YouTube. And then if you have not followed me on Instagram, my Instagram and my Twitter handle is innocent much. So it's innocent like I am innocent and much like thank you very much. So yes, innocent much. And I put the link down below. So make sure you follow me, subscribe to my channel and press like in here. And if you feel like you don't like something that I made in my video, comment on it so I can work hard and make it better. Yeah, and that's it. I... Yeah, and then, oh, you know what? I'm gonna go to Walmart right now. Just because I'm gonna go to Walmart and buy the organizers. I organize my life for a little bit. So here it is. I am walking to Walmart. So the area I was before was like from that area. And I'm just like walking over here to Walmart. This is how Walmart looked like from the inside. I'm gonna fast forward. This is almost just like a big department store with grocery in it. It's very... It's like a one-stop shop kind of place and they're usually open for longer hours at around 6 o'clock until 12 so give or take 18 hours and if I can calculate it right so this is actually where I'm heading to I'm actually going to home office in here I'm buying you know what I wanted to buy a mechanical pencil and I will do so just because I wanted to oh here it is Ever since I was a kid, I usually spend a lot of time in the bookstore. Primarily in the Philippines, there's what we call a national bookstore. They offer a lot of school supplies, art supplies in there, and books. 
So right now, going to a place like this, it just reminds me of my childhood and I love it the most. I'm not so sure if my face is very close back to the camera, so I'm really sorry about it. Oh, here. So these are all the school supplies that they have. They only have like three aisles, three or four aisles per Walmart. But it's usually sufficient because the pen that you want to buy, some supplies that you need are actually in it. So I'm just hoping that what I need is here because I don't want to drive to another Walmart just to buy it or buy it online. It would have been probably much more cheaper online. I'll look it up before I buy it in here and then just buy it online and then receive it tomorrow. It's okay. Oh, well, here. Here it is. Hmm. So they have those binders in there. Some crayon. Or crayon. 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 I don't know how to pronounce it. But yeah. Some planners. Oh, a lot of pens and markers. So yeah. Ooh. I'm not sure if this is the one that I really like the most. Ooh. This might be good. It's only like 97 cents. It's a binder pouch. And this would probably work well for my license and registration. But I think that's what I need only. But I'll see if I have more stuff that I can buy in here. And I'm trying to save money, so I'm trying not to overspend as well. But yeah. Oh yeah, here it is, here it is. This is what I'm actually looking for. This expanding fab, I'm looking for a smaller expanding file. Just because this is bigger. I need like probably like half a sheet like this one, but this is too small for me as well. It's a coupon expandable. I like the expandable look of it, but it's too small. I need like a middle ground. That's what I need. I'll look for it real quick and I'll see you in a bit after I found it, okay? And also with Walmart, um, they have a lot of baking supplies, cooking supplies, like microwave oven. I'm not, yeah, it's not really cooking supplies, but yeah, whatever. Some people cook stuff in there anyways. Now this are cooking stuff. And welcome back. So I know I have to cut short my Walmart video, but that was just it. I think I was just too busy. I was feeling under the weather. So I went home. Did all the stuff, prepped all the stuff, and I slept early yesterday. So I think that's it. So thank you for all of the people who keep on subscribing, people who are constantly viewing my videos. I have not been able to have more followers or subscribers for this past few weeks because I've been more focused on having more people engage and watch my videos. And I've been getting a lot more viewing hours and I'm so happy about it. And I would like to thank a lot of people who keep on commenting on my old videos and telling me the stuff that I need to be doing. So if you're new with this channel, make sure you subscribe and click the bell button in there so you can get notified on my new videos. I'll be posting probably three more pointless vlogs uh, to document what I've been doing, what I am doing, and I, what I will be doing in the next few weeks. And make sure you thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't, and please comment down below why you don't like it so we or I can improve it. And that's it. Thank you so much, and hopefully I can see you on my next video. Goodbye, people. Mwah.